this book here. This is my one of my books called Face Off. Oh, everybody keeps asking me about this. It's called Face Off. It's by uh, Harry Hammer Nick. You can get this on Amazon. I found it at a I found it at a half price bookstore. Um, one day I was just like, whoa! And then, you know, I like anything that has to do with drawing. I usually stop and buy. You know, um, especially if it's like a book. If I if I, if I look in there and it's something that I can use, then I'll, I'll go ahead and get it. Well, this book, you can see, he has like a lot of different little illustrations that he's did, um, how to draw different faces. But I saw a part in here he did about like bodies. Um, I think that was in this book, or was that a, another? Here, let me see. Let me keep looking through here. There might be another book that I'm thinking about. Oh, no, it is. It's another book. Wait a minute. I got one called Making Faces, too. And it has a cool little body section somewhere. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, so this is not it either. I got so many drawing books. Hold on a minute. Okay, so this is not it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we got another drawing characters book. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some little tricks. These are like little stick figures here that I use sometimes to, you know, draw bodies. And these are just different little gestures that you can practice at home. Um, using stick figures okay so when I'm drawing live a lot of I don't have uh, a, a great deal of time to sit and do a lot of sketching so what you want to do is learn certain body positions and then and eventually you'll get better at that position then you learn another one and you'll tend to draw a lot of the same stuff over and over at first like a program and then you know that'll lead you to do uh, other things so let's go ahead and just practice like a few bodies I'm gonna start with something that's very simple okay um, and I'm gonna use a pencil for you so you can kind of uh, follow me all right generally your your body is like a uh, is literally a stick figure okay so you have when you draw drawing you have your head here all right and then you have this and then you have your your arms and then you'll look down and you'll have here this will be like your top of your body okay and then you have your arms kind of doing whatever you want you see what I'm saying you got to learn how to just look at it like this don't get too over uh, don't think about it too much is what I'm saying you know if you got a guy's hand here and we got a hand here okay and then maybe this is his uh, this is his waistline here okay and maybe he's doing like this or whatever he's about to fight somebody or whatever he's just gonna make up a little body here. okay you have to go what kind of makes sense to you you know in your mind you have to you know you, your body will know or your brain will know when the body is right and when it's not okay now what I'm doing when I'm drawing is I'm thinking about this guy uh, I'm thinking about this stick figure in my head instead of drawing it on the paper okay let me see here. I didn't read. I looked up caricatures. Nice work. Yay, hobo. Okay, can you do Giovanni? Don't know that was the same. With, didn't know that was the same with caricatures. I'm not sure what you were saying. But, yeah, either way, with caricatures, this is it's all the same. So let's say I'm drawing this body. I already drew a guy's uh, stick figure body. So then what I do is I generally just fill him in. So I'll say, okay, this is his, his head, right? Okay. Whatever we can make him with his, we can make him with his neck like here, and it'll go down that part. Now here, you see what I'm doing? And I'm always thinking about this guy in my head 
or this this body type in my head as I'm drawing. I don't do a whole lot of thinking. And if I mess up or whatever on a body shape or whatever, I just kind of go with it. So this would be like his waist right here. And then you can see his legs will go logically here. His butt will go about right here. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So you see what, what I'm getting at here is that it's not, you have to learn the basics of stick figures. So no matter what you're drawing, all, your whole body is based off of a stick figure. It's just as simple, and we're going to stop right there, but it's as simple as like, I'm going to put a little stick figure right here, okay? If you got a guy that's uh, flying in outer space, you got to learn how to think about it like a stick figure. Okay, look, his body, he's flying in the outer space. You see what I'm saying? That's how you would draw him. So now I'm saying, okay, I got a guy here finding the outer space. So now I can draw his his body based off of that figure. You see? And this would be like his little stick figure face. But we can give him a cape. You know what I mean? Give him some cool glasses or whatever. And he's going toward the sun. Whatever. Sun's over here. Okay. So all I'm doing is once again going and using basic stick figures. Let's go do a couple of practices once again. Okay. So we'll do like we'll do just we'll just pick some of these. I don't really want to give you these because these are a little bit more complex. I want you to learn um how to do a basic man standing forward kind of picture, you know? So I'm going to show you how I think about it. I draw the man in my head first. So let's say I want to draw a man just standing there, okay? Let's draw a person just standing there. All right, so we'll start here. And this will be like his, his jacket or whatever, okay? Then I'll just make his jacket... I'll make it simple for you guys. I won't do too much uh, getting jiggy with it. All right, so now, how long do I want his legs to be? Let's draw a leg here, and let's draw another leg here, okay? And then, we'll draw this leg here, and another leg here. Then we'll do something like this, okay? Let's give him some shoes. You see how I make everything into a shape first? So I can see what I want to do. I'm giving some shoes, shoelaces, right? Let's say he's, uh, let's give him his, his neck here or whatever. All right, and then we could just make up any kind of head. Let's give him a, um, let me see here. Let's give him like a simple head here. Maybe he has an afro. <laughs> you got an afro, man. <laughs> All right. And then, then we'll give us some shades just to make it easy. Nose and a smile like that. Okay? Now, what I'll do next here is I'll add some arms to it. And I know basically the arms usually going to extend about right here. That head's a little small for his body, but that's okay. <laughs> and then let's just make him donut up the peace sign. Okay, so we'll do like this. One, right? Two, right? Then we'll go one, two, two little curves like that. And that one. And I think this is a fun exercise because it it helps you to hone your skills. Just drawing little random men and learning one position at a time. So this is just a 
Really easy position to draw. It's straightforward. Practice this one a couple of times. So we'll do we'll do one guy and then we'll do one female, okay? All right. All right, and then look here. We can make it look like he got a shadow. Shat head. Okay, so see how easy that was? Only thing I did was think about a stick figure first, and then I just drew him like the stick figure. All right, so let's go ahead and do a female. So we'll do one female, and then we'll go back to doing our caricatures because it's 430. I need to get those done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got to just go with it. You know, that's the that's the that's the whole purpose of drawing with your marker. I teach you a lot of times you don't see me use pencils. It's not because I'm trying to show off. It's because I believe in drawing. my, my particular style of drawing is to draw from spontaneity or just going off of my feeling going for it. And then if I mess up, then I just mess up and you'll be surprised how that line of thinking works just about with anything any sport any um if you are if you like to shoot if you like to shoot bow and arrows if you like to throw if you're a quarterback if you start thinking too much about the process and trying to make it into a science project like some people do they overthink everything then you can't it's going to be hard for you to get this down but if you stop one thinking about what people think about your drawings, that's the number one thing you cannot do. I don't draw every day and get online. Like when I first started doing this, my drawings were not good. They're not as good as they are now. They were good to someone that couldn't draw at all. But then eventually I still wanted to get better and better and better. So I kept doing it. And some people say, oh, that looks like him or oh, that don't look like him and or oh, whatever. And uh, so now I'm at this level and I'm hoping to go to another level in drawing where I can do even more stuff. So just keep drawing every day and go for it. Oh, thank you. You like my Black Panther shirt? It's pretty nice. Yes. <laughs> All right. So um, let's go ahead and do a female caricature real quick. So we'll just make us we'll make us a hip hop lady so y'all can go along with me real quick. So this is one you can use if somebody asks you to draw them like maybe... I don't know, draw them a hip hop or, or graffiti person. I have a background in graffiti, so I like to draw those kind of pictures. So let's go ahead and make her, let's do like this right here. We'll give her a head right here. And, okay, so do that part real quick. That's just the, that's the bottom of her head, of her face. And then this would be like her hair here. And let me see what kind of do we should we give her like what kind of hair should we give? What kind of hairstyle should we give? We'll give her something like um hmm. let me see. Oh, oh, you know what we can do? We can do something like this. Look, I'm just gonna give her like a weird, like a crazy dude. You know what I mean? And then maybe give her like a little Like her little hip hop hat. This is like the hat part. Okay. Then I'm gonna give her a neck right here, right? Like that. Let's see, maybe we'll give her some big earrings. Like that. Okay. And we gotta give her some, we're gonna give her some, like that's that kind of, mm -mm, no, he didn't look right <laughs> and she gonna be looking over here so we'll do like this like this there's some eyes here yes give her a nose here and then we'll give her some lips like this mm -hmm. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a body. So I'll do something like this, okay? And let's just say she's a, eh, she's a little curvy. So we'll make her a little curvy, like that. Be tasteful. 
see? And then we can give her, what kind of, let me see. We'll just make it fresh. We'll make her like a, a dress like this here. We'll make it long like that. But she gonna have her, she, she got on little sneakers like this. You ever seen sometime they got the sundresses, but they wear the, kind of wear the sneakers with it. Okay. And then look, we'll give her some, we'll give her some flowers on her dress. I'm just making this up. I've never seen this person before in my life. <laughs> All right. Now, let me see here. I'm going to draw, uh, let me see, what could she be doing? She got to have a flower right here because she's like, cool. Okay. And then um, we'll use, hey, you know what we can do? We can use one of these uh, positions here. Hey, look, you see this arm right here? We're going to use this arm. So watch. Like this, like that, mm -hmm. and then we'll make this arm like this, kind of. We'll make it do like this. We'll put the hand first, right. Right, and then we'll make it come out like this, and like that. And she got some little bracelets on, maybe. How about that? I'm just making, like I said, just making something up here. All right. And then, um, pretty much, guys, that's my, that's my little, then we just put like a little scene in the background right here. Maybe we can put some New York, cause she's like kind of far. We'll make we'll make the little city back here like she's a she's a city girl. She's out in the city. Everything to me is a basic shape, so it doesn't matter what I'm drawing. Once I see it in my head, I'll try to do it. You know that way. This is just my little made-up picture, like I said here. All right, give her some more eyelashes here, and then uh, pretty much that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I might put, put the sun back there, but if somebody was asking me to draw a theme, then I just kind of go with it like this. You know what I mean? All right, so let's color these in real dark here. Extra big eyelashes, and uh, there you go. We're just and we're gonna call her. Her name is Gina. <laughs> Gina at the city. <laughs> I don't know where the city is at, but she's there. Okay. So that was my little quick little thing. We, 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 we did two body types. We did the guy, and then we did the female, and we just showed you how to draw their body. And what we'll do is every now and then, we'll just throw some random bodies in there and then you can watch the video over and over again, copy my bodies, right? And then you can use those bodies in your repertoire. So I'll make up some different ones every day. We'll do some basketball, we'll do some football, throwing a football, and then you can just keep trying them and practicing them, and that's how you get good at those bodies. All right, so let me go back here. Let's see what's going on. Um, all right, I'm on a mission to draw every one of the basketball characters. <laughs> hey man, awesome Venice Balloon. Oh, good evening, Vince89. I'm doing absolutely awesome today. Today is a, a wonderful day, a wonderful day, wonderful day. All right, so um, let me go ahead and put that up. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit on your bodies.